I've made hundreds of web design tutorials and I've tested every AI builder that's come out. And after all of that, Lovable is the best AI website builder I've found. Now, I'm not just saying that lightly. I've compared it to Webflow, Framer, even WordPress with AI plugins. And honestly, Lovable gives you the fastest path from an idea to a working site. So in this Lovable tutorial, I'll guide you through a simple three-step process. First, we'll create a detailed prompt using ChatGPT. Then we'll take that prompt and use it to generate a site on Lovable. And finally, we'll customize our design, add our content and publish the site live. Now, you can start using Lovable completely for free. Just keep in mind that the free version is a bit limited. They only give you a few credits a day, but it's more than enough to try things out. By the way, this video is brought to you by our very own product, Airlift. It's completely free and it also helps you hit a 90 plus page speed score. The link is in the description below, so definitely check it out. So let's dive in. Head over to lovable.dev and create a free account. Once you're in, the first thing we'll do is go back to ChatGPT and this is where we'll create our super descriptive prompt. Now we'll paste this prompt into lovable and generate the site. Give it a minute or two and done. We've got a brand new AI generated site and this literally took me less than a minute to complete it. Lovable built the website, the code and even added different pages. At first glance, we've got a pretty basic website. We've got a clean landing page, two call to action buttons and even an abstract background design. Scrolling down, there's a services section and a process section. And there's also a booking form with our info. But here's where it gets interesting. You can make changes to every part of this site using the Lovable Editor. Go to the bottom left and click on the Edit button. You'll see a set of tools for quick adjustments across all the sections. Text, spacing, font size, even the background colors, styles and more. Scroll to the Services section. Notice how the Learn More buttons don't actually do anything? Let's fix that. We can simply tell Lovable in the services section on the home page, create a calendar pop-up when someone clicks on the learn more button with more information about these services. Okay, wait a minute and done. Now, if we click on learn more, we have a working pop-up with services details. If you want to delete a section, it's just as easy. Select the section and click delete and it's gone. Just remember to save after you've deleted anything or before you do that, because if you want to go back, you can quickly control Z and go back. Okay, I'm done with the website. Let's hit publish and your project will be saved and published. You can preview it or even connect a custom domain. See how easy was that? It's just mind blowing to me what AI tools and website builders can do now. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Lovable. The biggest advantage to this is that there's no themes, no plugins, and there's no setup headache like in WordPress. Another benefit is that there is no plugin license cost. In WordPress, you often need premium plugins, but with AI coding, you skip all of that. And you also avoid plugin updates, which let's be honest, can sometimes break your site. Of course, it's not as advanced as WordPress with Elementor, but it's more than enough for simple sites. That said, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The biggest downside is the database. With WordPress, all of your content is stored in a database and everything works behind the scenes. With AI tools, you only get the front end, not the back end. If you need to store content, you need something like Superbase. There's also the backup issue. Most AI tools only backup the front end. If something breaks and you try to roll back, your front end might revert, but your databases won't. This mismatch can break your site. Superbase gives you two free projects, but after that, it's $10 a month just for the database. So that is a big problem. Hosting is another big challenge. AI platforms usually host your website on their own subdomains. Sure, you, you get the code, but moving it somewhere else requires VPS hosting knowledge, which most beginners don't actually have. You can use GitHub and transfer your website there, but again, it's only for static websites. So here's my take. These AI website builders are the future. I'm very sure of that. A year ago, they were very clunky, but now they're surprisingly good. And give them a few more years and they might even beat WordPress or Shopify. 
But right now, for client projects, I'm still sticking with WordPress and Elementor. If a friend just needs a simple website, I can make it quickly using Lovable. But for real business sites, the risk is too high. Still, our industry is changing a lot. If AI ends up handling basic web design, what do we become? I think the answer is clear. We level up. We learn marketing, analytics, email, SEO, even AI SEO like ranking in ChatGPT results. The word web designer might fade, but will evolve into web strategists. That's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. In this three minute video, I'll show you how to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.